Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to awaken your fruits and do raids in blocks fruits. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a complete guide on how to do that. Now this is very helpful as it applies to almost all fruits and it greatly increases the damage, how cool the skills look, how good they are doing combos and all that stuff. So the first requirement is that you must be in the second C meaning you must be at least level 700. If you are not level 700, you will not be able to access the raid area because you won't be in the second C, so it will not work. But once you are level 700 and in the second C, you're going to need a friend that is a higher level, or you're going to need to be level 1100. Now, assuming that you're already level 1100, you're going to come over to the hot and cold island, pretty easy to find. Just go straight from Kingdom of Rose to Green Zone, and then go a little bit left to find Hot and Cold. Go over to the cold side. You're going to come into this lab area, and the code that you're going to put in is red, blue, green, blue. And then a little door that was closed before will open up right here. You can run over and climb up this truss right here, or this ladder. There's a couple of chests in here. And you can talk to the mysterious scientist. Now he's going to give you all of the different normal raid options you can get. And once you're in the third C, you're actually going to be able to unlock advanced raids. Which are for the phoenix fruit and the doe fruit. Now there are different requirements to actually get these chips. So first of all, for a normal raid, which is every fruit besides doe and phoenix. You're either going to need to spend $100,000, which you can only do every two hours. Or... You can trade any physical fruit that you may have just spun, or you could take it out of your inventory. Now, it's a little bit harder for the advanced raids. You're going to either need one... My bad. You're either going to need 1,000 fragments, which is pretty easy, but you can only do it every two hours, or a fruit worth over $1 million, which, if you're wondering, that is any legendary or mythical fruit in the game, any fruit, quake, and above I recommend only using the first couple of legendaries because wasting mythical fruits on raids is not a great idea. So when you're actually in the raid, especially if you're solo, the best fruit to use for raids is the Buddha fruit because of how much more range you get on attacking opponents, how much easier it is to not take damage, and how much quicker you can just blaze through it and kill everything before the timer runs out. Now there's five different islands. And as you go through those islands, the enemies are going to get stronger and stronger, giving you a tiny bit better rewards. And on the last island, there's going to be a boss that you need to fight. And fighting that boss is actually decently difficult depending on the raid. There's easier raids like flame raids, but there's also harder raids like the string raid, which get pretty, pretty difficult to do. Or my bad, the spider raid. I forgot they changed that fruit. So now let's go over what you actually get when you complete a raid. So you're going to get 1,000 fragments, which you can literally just spend on pretty much anything. There's a lot of things you can do with fragments. Or you can awaken your fruit. Now let me give an example. Let me teleport over to the cafe and show you the difference between awakened and unawakened Buddha fruit. So we're going to go to my inventory and equip the Buddha fruit. Now I'm going to go down this ladder. This is just how you toggle the Awakening and Unawakening. It will equip the Awakening when you actually get it. You have to come and equip it, I mean. So this is Buddha Unawakened. Let's unawaken everything. Let's go up here, and this is also assuming that you have Max Mastery on it. Let's test this on some NPCs. And Awakened is going to be a lot better. You also do have to spend Fragments, which is the main reason why you get them to awaken the fruit. So we're going to come over here. This is the transformation. It makes you a lot bigger. Now, you're not really going to use the Buddha abilities to attack enemies, but that's what I'm going to be showing here. Normally, you would use the M1, and this gives you increased range on your M1. Any kind of M1, like sword, gun, melee. But we're going to go over the Buddha abilities for this. You get impact, decent. Buddha leap, which is also decent. And Buddha explosion, which is pretty decent. But... If you thought that was good, it gets a lot better when you awaken the fruit. So we're going to run all the way back here to the cafe, and I will show you the difference between unawakened and now awakened Buddha. The range gets way bigger, it does more damage, you get more defense, it's just way better in every way. You even get an extra move. So we're going to awaken everything, 
And as you can see right away, instead of four moves, we've actually got five now, including the transformation. So let's go back and show you what this looks like. So we're going to go back over to these swan pirates. And now this is the transformation. We're going to press Z like we did last time. Ooh, you are way bigger. You're faster. You do more damage. Look at how far away you could hit these enemies from. You could not hit them from that far away earlier. This is way better. And it's harder for them to hit you. Because look, they cannot hit me right now. They would have to actually run up to me. Like, see, he can't hit me. He's swinging the sword, not hitting me. I can hit him. So you have more range than the enemies. And there's also cool things you can do like this. Where you can make your sword bigger and your hitbox completely normal. This is the most overpowered method for grinding or like 1v1ing somebody. You've got your regular small hitbox. And you get a larger hitbox for hitting enemies. Now let's go over the of this. So you have Heavenly Impact. This is just an upgraded the other one of just regular impact. Light of Annihilation. These moves are definitely a lot better than the old boo does it. Retribution Dash. I'll do Twi Twilight of the Gods last because it's the best. This one, you like grab them in the air and throw them down. They cannot escape it once you've already done it. And now it's Twilight of the Gods. This is a really overpowered move that ends up doing a lot of damage. Like, Buddha just gets so much more overpowered when you awaken it, and it becomes a really good fruit. Same with a ton of other fruits. The other fruit I'm going to go over right now is Awakened and Unawakened Ice. These fruits are just super overpowered. It is so worth doing these raids to awaken fruits. So let's go and equip ice. We've already done that. Go over here to the awakening and unawakening. We're going to completely unawaken my fruit. We're going to go back over to the enemies. I'm going to test this out. Now, first of all, there is no ice skating ability with this. Unless you have it awakened. So that's the M1. Ice spear. Didn't even kill him. Ice Surge. Then we've got, let's go over to this one right here. Ice Bird, which is probably the best attack on here. And Glacial Epod, which is pretty, pretty decent. Like, it could be used for combos, but it gets way better than pretty, pretty decent. It gets really, really good when we go over here and we awaken it. Just the difference between these awakenings for how easy to get done is so good. So I feel like I just had to make this video because there's not too many videos on how to awaken fruits. It's kind of just expected that you would know it, but like it took me forever to figure out. And also, if anybody's watching to this point, I doubt the video will get that many views or much watch time. But if anybody's watching and they need help with raids, just comment your username down below and what raid you need help with, and I'll give you some help. M1 will be the same. We've got Ice Spears, Ice Surge, uh, still Ice Bird. I think I must have did something wrong. Nope, it still says the same thing, but it was a lot stronger. So we'll use that again. And then Glacial Epoch. It was way better. Oh, I forgot to unequip and re-equip it. So yeah, there's extra moves. So there's Cold Storm, Glacial Surge, then Frozen Dragon, which is the one that you saw earlier. Ice Skating, which is really nice for moving around. And Absolute Zero. I can't use the moves right now. I think I'm disconnecting. My internet might be going out or something. But it gets really overpowered. The moves are just bigger. And the ice skating allows you to move faster on land and water. Just zooming around. So that's going to be all for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions involving raids in Box Fruits. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.